रिजर्व बैंक आफ् इंडिया मानेटरी पालस कमीटी एंपीसी शुक्रवार एकग्रीव निर्णय तो रेपो रेट को आर पाइं याबे शात वथात उ अच्छे गवर्नर शक्तिकांत दास् द्रव्योलना दाने नाग शात लक्षा की चेरवचे बांड विक्रय उपयोगी लिक्टी कठिन उतम संकेंता द्वैमासीक द्रव्य परपति विधान समीक्ष विदल आरबीआई गवर्नर दास्तू बल डिमेंड नेपथ्य देशीय आर्थिक व्यवस्था पुनरुद्धरण प्रदेश This year in the first quarter the headline inflation moderated to 4.6% a significant uh, easing of inflation pressures from its exceptionally high level in July and August is expected to materialize in September as the impact of fleeting food price shocks wane further underlying inflation pressures are also moderating while the impact of past monetary policy actions is still unfolding even so indications are that throughout much of the third quarter of the current financial year food inflation pressures may not see much easing or rather may not see sustained easing external factors like energy prices and financial market conditions continue to be volatile all these call for careful monitoring of the incoming data and the outlook that is we have to monitor the in, not only the incoming data but also the build up build up of the future the outlook to clearly delineate the durable components of price shocks from its transitory elements monetary policy has to be in absolute readiness to take appropriate and timely action to prevent any spillovers from food and fuel price shocks to underlying inflation trends and risks to anchoring of inflation expectations these are non negotiable necessities i would now like to turn to liquidity and financial market conditions as i have reiterated several times in my previous policy statements excessive liquidity can pose risks to both price and financial stability to ensure that liquidity conditions evolve in sync with the monetary policy stance the reserve bank as a temporary measure had imposed an incremental cash reserve ratio that is icrr of 10% which impounded about rupees 1.1 lakh crore from the banking system the icrr was reviewed on september 8th and is being discontinued in a phased manner ending october 7th that is tomorrow moderation in excess liquidity conditions as a result of the combined impact of icrr and advance tax outflows in september has resulted in greater recourse to marginal standing facility that is msf by the banks 